6.53 on a run. Coming at you live from Brooklyn, NYC. Out here living the dream. Uh, field of dreams. Great movie. If you build it, they will come. It's called Free Association. I like to do it. It keeps the mind active and clear. Uh, I'm here with Phil right now. He's, uh, he's a bit of a slump. His team lost the uh, ultimate Frisbee tournament yesterday. But, you know, I told him, I said, it's good sometimes to taste defeat, you know, to experience being a failure because it builds character. Uh, that's what I've been told anyway. I haven't experienced it firsthand, but, you know, keep trucking, Phil. Still a, a champion in my eyes. Good morning. How you guys doing? How's the work going? Great. I admire it. Keep it up. Uh, that's what I like to see. I like to see a good, strong work ethic. Um, you know, so I'm wearing this shirt today. It's uh, it's like lace and sequins. It's kind of like, oh, I don't mind if I do. Uh, I also like that it has purple in it. And purple is a great color because it fuses pink and blue. It's a great way to get in touch with my my masculine and my feminine sides. It's sort of like, oh, I'm emotionally intelligent. And I like to stick my hand in my pants while I'm watching TV. So, you know, chew on that. I uh, saw a terrific movie last night, X-Men. It's a, it's a great movie. It's a movie about people with like, superpowers. And God, I would really love to have superpowers. Um, I think if I could have any, it would be morning. Uh, he's in the zone, he couldn't really respond. I'd love to have the power to predict where the next real estate boom is gonna be. You know, like someone's on my face, like laser fingers, and I'm like, oh well. I just made a killing on a condo in Omaha, so boom, in your face. Uh, this is a great movie, though. It's a movie about tolerance. It's really about, you know, people or mutants, if you will, who suffer because of the intolerance of others. So I want to talk to you today about how you can incorporate more tolerance in your life. And the first and most obvious is spend time with someone who has different ideology from you, different beliefs. This is why I spend a ton of time with Tom Cruise. Uh, I've, I've learned so much this way about Scientology. And um, it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to me, um, really any sense, but I've come away, you know, I'm a lot better at pool because he's learned how to do that in that movie about the, the hustlers. And he's also one of the few people I know who, um, he likes Donovan as much as I do, so you spend time with different people. The second is, you know, pet a pug. This is the ultimate gesture of tolerance because pugs are just very clearly like, they're an aberration of nature. Oh, uh, there's got the squished faces and the labored breathing like, and you know, I tend to be repelled by anything that is aesthetically displeasing and you know, not programmed for success. I try and pet a pug like once a week to show that I'm open, show it to myself more than anything. That was, that's number two. And number three is, um, you know, try something different, try something new. Um, I recently joined a Civil War reenactment group, this little fringe group in Brooklyn, and it's been a great use of my time. Uh, and what, what wonderful people, talk about people who are just totally nuts um, for Civil War history and you know, if I was closed-minded, I would never have gotten to uh, invest hours of my time in this way. So, you know, that's another thing. Try new things. And finally, to fuel the tolerance, you need to be eating protein all day.